Hello, my name is Andrew Barton, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to play Tic Tac Terraform. It is a one card game designed for the 2023 One Card Game Contest on Board Game Geek. This is the rule book, which you can download in low ink or in full color. It is four pages, printed on uh, eight and a half by 11. This is the game board, and you'll also need five dice and eight cubes of two different colors, so a total of 16 cubes, for one for each team. Tic Tac Terraform is a strategy game in which players will roll dice, starting with four, and depending on their rolls, they'll be able to do one of two things. Uh, they'll either be able to place projects on the planet, also known as play tic-tac-toe, or they can fund research and advance up the research track to gain new technologies. New technologies help making, make future terraforming projects easier to achieve. The first player to get tic-tac-toe wins the game. To start the game, each player will need to place one cube on the free spot, on the free technology on each side of the board, on their respective sides of the board. On the back of the instruction booklet, you can see what each of the icons mean. They're pretty intuitive once you learn them, but uh, the main ones you will need to learn are this one, which means a dice set, in other words, three of a kind. So in this situation, three of a kind would allow you to build a forest, um, or the other important icon is the run icon. Uh, this is a run, three, four, five. And so if you get a run of three, three run right there, you're able to move up your technology by one. And as, as you can see, there are different costs for all of the technologies and all of the, the projects on the planet. Um, so the first technology is a run of three, run of three, run of four, run of four, a run of five. Forests are a set of three dice. A s lakes or oceans are a set of four dice. And the city is a set of five dice. Let's start the game. Blue will go first. You start with four dice. So blue will roll four dice. Uh, Blue has a decision now. They can either try to re-roll, use their one free technology, which is re-roll. It's the free technology they have right now. To re-roll these two dice to try to get another two, which would give them three of a kind, which would allow them to place a cube on one of the forests. Or they could take the one and the two and try to roll a three. Great. In this situation... Uh, blue rolled a three, which means they got a run, so they can move up the technology track one time. The slot they moved to was a gain one re-roll per turn. That's a permanent upgrade. So next time, they'll get to roll one time, and then re-roll a second time, and then re-roll a third time. So now it's red's turn. I'll roll red over here. Red also looks like he has a good initial roll for a straight. So he's going to re-roll. He did not achieve any. He used his one free re-roll to, to, to roll that. He did not achieve anything, so it's Blue's turn again. Blue automatically gets a straight right off the bat. So now he has a decision to make. Does he want to go to the plus one or to the free technology? Again, plus one means they can. Mo I can modify a dice by one pip every time on a turn. One time on a turn. Um, and the this icon, the gear icon, means they immediately advance to a, a new technology. So in this situation, I'm going to use... <laughs> in this situation, I'm going to use the gear to move to the next technology. The next technology is to add one dice per starting pool. That's a permanent upgrade. So next time... <clears throat> Blue can start with five dice. It's Red's turn. Red still only has four dice. 
So again, red could try to go for a straight or three of a kind. So red's going to go for a straight. Red moves his technology up one slot. Back to blue. Blue rolls five dice because he's unlocked the extra die in the middle of the technology tree. And he wants to get, he wants to start a terraforming project. So he's going to reroll those. Didn't get anything. I do have a straight potential here. As you can see, the next technology requires a, a run of four. So I'm going to reroll these two to get a four. Doesn't get it. Turn this over. Back to red. Red <laughs> rolls. Again, he could try to go for a set to start a terraforming project or a run to advance technology. Let's do, let's go for a run. Didn't get it, but I have one more free reroll. Reroll, so. All right, sweet. Red achieved uh, the next level of technology. So, unlike blue, red is going to get the plus one. So that means, uh, for example, on the next turn, if uh, let's say on the next turn his roll had been that, he could use the plus one, he or she could use the plus one to turn that into a run of four. But that might be in the future. Back to blue. Blue has, nearly has a run of four, but blue really wants to get on the board, because that's how you win the game. So he's going to try to go for a set of three. Didn't get it. All right, so it's red stone. Right off the bat, red got three of a kind. Awesome. So he gets, he rolled a one on his second reroll, and now he can use his plus one to turn that into a two. That's four of a kind. That is a good roll. And he decides he's going to start an ocean project right there in the corner. It's Blue's turn. Blue's not happy. Even though Blue has more dice to start with. Blue decides to build on the two fives. No. Come on, Blue. Yes, Blue got three of a kind. And so Blue is going to preemptively build a forest right there to block Red from going one way. It's Red's turn. Red only has four dice to work with. So let's see here. We could try to get a run, or we could try to get three of a kind. Red likes to roll the dice. So, wow, this is a very good roll for Red. He managed to get four of a kind. That is somewhat unusual. Blue's getting nervous. That's five. And wow, right off the bat, rolls three of a kind. He probably doesn't need any more than that. But, because he has one obvious move, so, but this is good. Blue can now build a ocean or a forest project. A, strategically, it might be wise to pick an ocean project if, it was, if he didn't have a better move, which would be to block the obvious win by red. So in this situation, blue overpaid for that forest, and that can happen. You can overpay for, for technology or for the, um, the terraforming projects. So back to Red, whose hopes were thwarted. Red. Mm, Red needs that fifth, needs to unlock this technology to get that fifth die. So. He's going to be crazy and roll to get a three. Nope, it didn't work. So red didn't do anything. 
And that's Tic Tac Terraform. The players just continue on until somebody gets Tic Tac Toe or the board is filled up and whoever has the most projects wins. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for your time and good luck to everyone in the contest.